Cryptocurrency exchanges are vulnerable to attacks. Hacks like Mt. Gox, people, you can lose your money if you keep it on a centralized exchange. Okay, we all know that the blockchain technology within the coin is not hackable. So the best way to store your cryptocurrency is on a cold storage wallet. But people are telling you to buy a Ledger Nano X or a Trezor, which can cost up to $300 for a little piece of equipment. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a free cold storage wallet with a beautiful interface. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video and today we're going to be talking about wallets, cold storage wallets. And I'm going to specifically be talking about Exodus wallet because I've been using it for years. It has a beautiful interface. It's very clean, easy, smooth to use. And I, I just use it to hold about five to 10% of my cryptocurrency. I'm explaining all the wallets I use and everything like that. Um, so you guys can, you know, use it for yourself, whatever, right? I've been in cryptocurrency for like six years. So maybe you can learn a thing or two, but look, guys, you do not want to keep your money on centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Binance and all that stuff like that because they're successful. It's very unlikely, but they can be hacked. Blockchain technology cannot be hacked. And so it defeats the purpose if you leave your money on an exchange. Technically, you do not own that cryptocurrency if it's on an exchange. Okay. So to actually own it, you have to put it on a cold storage wallet and have that private key. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how to do that with Exodus. You don't need to buy. I mean, I have them. Don't get me wrong. I have these little uh, cold storage wallets called the Trezor or the um, Ledger Nano X that you can buy for yourself. And it gives the portability aspect so like you can like walk with it. But Exodus is on your computer. So that's really all most people need right nowadays. You're not going to take your, you know, your your cold storage wallet and walk to the store and buy something. You're just going to keep it on your computer or your laptop and you could travel with it that way, right? If you have a laptop. So most people, guys, you're going to be using this. Um, if you want to go ahead and buy one, I mean, be my guest, but I don't recommend it. If I was to start over, I'd just probably have one of these or, you know, I, I do keep the majority of my cryptocurrency on my Trezor. The reason being, you know, I want, I want it to be hard for me to have to sell my crypto. You know, a lot of people like like leaving on Coinbase because they want to get out really quickly. No, I'm a long term holder. So I have to plug it in. I have to type this code in. I have to open the wall. I have to do all this stuff. So that's why I keep it on there. Not because it's any more safe. As long as you have the private key, it's going to be safe. I'm rambling here. But guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, my name is Alex. I talk about cryptocurrency and Internet entrepreneurship, all the skill sets you need to acquire to be a successful human being on the Internet. You're going to get it with this channel. So do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell so you can get the content first like i said you know mount gox you can't lose your money right mount gox was a huge example of this you know back in the day one of the first cryptocurrency exchanges they lost over 70 percent of their bitcoin it was likely stolen valued at 450 million dollars people just lost all their money okay now that can happen with exchanges but it cannot happen on the blockchain right so so i'm just going to be sending some transactions here so you can see right because i know a lot of you have coinbases and stuff and it's probably locked away in there and you don't know how to get it out right well i'm gonna show you so i'm gonna do one from uh let's just send this bitcoin real quick all right so all you have to do is go into your your uh, portfolio right so you click portfolio you send it okay enter bitcoin address I'm, i know this is basic for a lot of people so just bear with me here but some people just don't know how to do it so i'm just going to show you okay so it's real quick so i have my exodus wallet. like i said i do not keep all of my money on exodus right it's a download link guys use the link below i don't get paid for anything it's just the link right you can just download it, it goes to the website click that download button put it on your thing okay so it's gonna what's gonna happen i want to be very clear about this when you download this and you install it on your computer it's going to have something called the private key. It's going to be a series of numbers, okay? A series of numbers. This is the the important part about all of it, okay? This is just a, you know, when you log in, like people, it, if they know your password, of course they can log in. But if you ever want to recover, like your computer dies on you or something like that, and you want to recover this cryptocurrency, you're going to need that private key, you need it. It's going to be a series of, of letters. Write it down on a piece of paper. That's the best way to do it. Write it down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere. Don't, don't leave it on your computer or take a picture of it because someone can take it. Someone can hack your phone. If you write it down, no one can physically ever take that away from you. Do not try to memorize it. You can either write it down, print it, whatever. 
right? But make sure when you install this wallet that you save that private key because that is the security part of this. If you, if you own that private key, you own the coins. It's as simple as that. Just because you have the software doesn't mean you own the coins. The private key makes you own the coins, all right? I, I think I got that out here, okay? So go ahead, use the link below, download it, and then this is what it's gonna look like. Very beautiful, man, it's a clean interface. Look, you got all these different types of coins, you know, I mean, if you need other coins, there's going to be other wallets you have to download. I'm just, this is for this video. So, you know, I don't keep all my money on here. I keep a little bit on, you know, some exchanges sometimes because I'm like, I'm working in and out. And it's a little bit annoying. Um, so I'll keep some on Coinbase. I'll keep some on Binance, et cetera, et cetera. I do keep a, a large lump sum, lump sum on Exodus wallet. If you don't, I mean, I'm sorry, Exodus. I'm, I'm talking about Exodus. I'm talking about um, Monarch wallet. If you guys don't know what Monarch is, it basically pays you interest on your Bitcoin, I think it's about four to six percent a year. So I keep a little bit of Bitcoin on there just to gain that interest, right? But I keep, I would say I keep eighty to ninety percent of all my cryptocurrency on my Trezor because it's hard to get out, right? So I keep it on my Trezor, um, and then all the money that I kind of play with, I you know the, the altcoins and stuff. You guys know I have majority Ethereum and Bitcoin, and then these are just like five to ten to twenty percent of my portfolio I play with altcoins, and those will be typically on my Exodus wallet, right? As you can see here, so um to send a transaction right so i'm getting off topic here let's go to bitcoin send this bitcoin over so what i do is i go to the exodus wallet okay i press receive i copy that address do not try to type it in just copy it you copy that address then you come over here to coinbase and i'm gonna exit this off you press send so you're sending from coinbase to exodus wallet you press send you paste the address control v okay now, how much do you want to send? I want to send the max amount, okay, $19 or whatever. This is like affiliate commissions that I get from my videos. Like, I mean, if you have friends that want to get in crypto, use your link. Here, let me show you. Get $10, invite friends. Use that link in your Coinbase. You'll get $10 free and they'll get $10 free. So right, let's do this again. So you, so you come over here to Exodus. I know this is basic for a lot of you. You put receive, copy that address. Come over here to Coinbase, send, right? Paste the address in, send max, continue, done. There you go. The power of cryptocurrency. It's pending. Now it's going through the blockchain. Now you can get like crazy. And you see, you guys heard that noise? That was Exodus receiving the coins. Look at that. That's the power of cryptocurrency. Look, I just received it, $10. Power of cryptocurrency. That could have been, I mean, it was only 20 bucks, but that could have been like 100 million bucks. And it would have gave you the same example. Like you could have sent it immediately across the, you know, the world without having to pay any fees. That is the power, right? Just wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of you have been asking me questions. So what it's going to do now is it's going to go through uh, the, it's going to go through a block, right? So that's hard to explain. It's complex, but you can view the transaction on the block explorer. That's another thing about cryptocurrency is that there's block explorers that shows you all the transactions ever made, ever made, right? Every single transaction in the, that's ever made on Bitcoin you can, is right there. It's a public ledger, and okay, that's the power of it, okay? Now, and you can see it right there. You can verify everything. That's the beauty of, of blockchain technology, by the way, guys, if you didn't know that. Um, so, you know, that's how simple Exodus Wallet is. You just keep it on here, right? And I'm gonna show you some, maybe some Binance transactions, right? So I got some Litecoin here that I wanna withdraw, so boom withdraw super simple okay so what address do you want to withdraw it to let's go to exodus let's go to litecoin receive i'm receiving the litecoin copy that go back to binance boom amount all of it submit done now okay so yeah they're just saying Binance has detected a recent increase in fraud activities. Okay, whatever. They're just basically saying now you have a Google. Sometimes they have you to ask you to verify stuff like this with um, you know Google authentication and stuff. You know, do it. It's a little bit easier on other places, but it's good that they do that because they might see that you got to go to your email and verify. Let's just verify with my email real quick. Hopefully, I think I'm, oh, my girlfriend's email. Don't look, guys. Don't look. Don't don't look at any of this. I got to sign in. Hold on. Let me just sign in real quick. I'll uh, blank this out so you guys, oh, I don't even need to blank it out because I need to just look at my phone. All right, bear with me here. Bear with me. 
Okay, I'm signed in. So I'm gonna verify this through Binance. Uh, excuse me, that's something different. Look, updates right there. Go to Binance. I'm sending some bit confirm withdrawal. Okay, boom. Okay, it's done. Now you're gonna hear that sound again with the Litecoin come in. You're gonna see the Litecoin pop up here. Okay, you're gonna see that. So that's it right there. That's Exodus Wallet, man. Clean interface. Let's go over it real quick. So you got your backup here. You can reset. Re this is the recovery phase. Remember, I told you guys a private key. That's it. I'm not gonna view it because you're gonna be able to see my stuff. I don't want you guys to see my stuff and take my cryptocurrency, right? Someone's gonna hack me. So then you got the exchange. Oh, I didn't even know they added this feature. You can exchange Bitcoin to Ethereum. Maybe they'll add more in the future. But all you can do is exchange from Bitcoin to Ethereum and back. I think they did that because sometimes, you know, if you want to send, like, for example, some EOS, I believe you need a little bit of Ethereum to use as gas. Um, that's a little bit complex. That's for another video. But I guess they added that little exchange there. The wallet's cool. You have all these different types of coins. Where's my Litecoin at, man? I want my Litecoin to come in. It's supposed to be fast. But I think it's the Binance exchange that's being annoying but uh litecoin should pop in soon but you got all these different coins like you know i don't recommend like you can add more too if you wanted to so like any of these coins you could add let's see if they can add chain link oh perfect let's add oh i already have chain link oh that's not, not what i meant uh let's add um i remember there was a coin you can't oh raven coin let's see if you can add a raven coin to exodus because you guys know i love my raven coin oh you can add raven coin let's add it Oh, I just added it. Let's go. All right. I'm sending some Raven coin. Let's receive. So I press receive. Come over here to Binance. All right. I got some Raven coin in here. All right. Let's see. Exchange wallet. Exchange wallet. Let's show the balance. Okay. The Litecoin hasn't sent yet. It should be sending soon. Let's, let's withdraw the Raven coin. Put the address in there. You see how quickly this is, guys? You see how quickly I'm doing this? Like 500 bucks right here. 500 bucks okay at first i wasn't this quick i'll be honest with you guys it took me a minute i would verify like 30 times because i was sending you know like 20 grand across the internet and it's pretty scary to do that especially that if you get these codes wrong that's why i always recommend you guys to copy and paste it that you know it's gonna you're gonna lose your money man don't, don't lose your money like do it right like look at it three times four times i mean I, i've been doing this for a while now so i'm it's not really that serious to me but um just be careful when you send these cryptocurrencies because there's no third party intermediary. You are your own banker, right? You are your own banker. Okay. So withdraw request, confirm withdraw. Let's do it. All right. I sent my Raven coin over. I don't like to keep my stuff on Binance. I'm going to keep it on Exodus wallet because it's a private court. I have the private key. Now let's just wait for that to come in. All right, guys. So that kind of concludes it for this video. One thing I want to talk about before I go is basically guys i have a private group i do giveaways all the time i'm literally doing a giveaway right now as we speak so all you have to do is go in my link below it's going to be my top secret private group i give i do giveaways i give advice you know i have some guys on there that are smart like i am you know and you know if i'm not there they're going to answer your questions so if you have any questions jump into that group right now for me Go below, click the link, stop playing. If you watch my videos, go into the private group. It's gonna be a telegram, okay? Get into it, get some access to this cryptocurrency news and stuff like that. Um, don't mind my dog in the back drinking water. And that concludes this for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.